either tomato juice or vegetable juice. So we're going to use vegetable juice. Okay. So let's use three and a half cups of vegetable okay. juice. I love that we're putting a little bit of barbecue sauce in this. It just kind of, you know, <laughs> this is what makes it Dreamland when you put Dreamland sauce in. Barbecue it. sauce makes everything better, right? It makes everything better. <laughs> and this is a healthy drink with the right. vegetable juice. Get all your antioxidants mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And a good kick start for your tailgate. Good kick start for the tailgate. Mm -hmm. Did you say three and, and a half? Three and, and a half. Okay. Half, half of that. Okay. Perfect. All Great. right. Okay, next we're going to use the Dreamland barbecue sauce. That's this that one, one right, right here? there, yes. Okay. And How much are we putting in? And we're going to use a half a cup, so just use half of that big cup. Okay. You know, when you tailgate, sometimes you don't have all of your right. ingredients. Surely most people have barbecue on hand. Oh, yes. 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 Okay, so to that, we're going to add our spices, which is our celery salt, which we've already measured out there. And how much is this? It's about a teaspoon. A teaspoon, okay, mm -hmm. so just dump it in? Just dump it in. Okay, what next? And our Dreamland Shake, which is a salt, pepper, seasoning mm -hmm. salt combination. Mm -hmm. So and just dump it in? Just dump it in. How much is this? Uh, that's about a teaspoon as well. Okay. Then you're gonna take your lemons, and okay. you're gonna use a whole lemon. You use a just whole lemon. A whole lemon half a lime. and half of a lime. And those were real big limes, so we cut them We'd already cut them up okay. for you. And then, now what? then we're going to add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Right here. Right. And this is just traditional Bloody Mary mm -hmm. recipe with the Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. Now I like to add hot sauce. So I think if I, I like a little fire. Okay. Correctly, you like a little. I do. Spice too. I do. So we'll add a teaspoon of the Texas Pete hot sauce. Love you it. can use any hot sauce that you want. And of course, if you like a milder drink, you could leave this out. Yes, you can leave that out. So and you a can, teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And you can also um, buy spicy tomato juice mm -hmm. or the spicy vegetable juice, which are all just make it even more yummy. Awesome. All okay, right. Okay. Now what do we do now? We're gonna stir this. And then after we stir that, because we're doing it in a pitcher, I like to go ahead and put the vodka in there. Okay? okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead and put the vodka in there. And how much are we putting in? A cup and a half. Okay. So we'll grab it. If you want to use that one we use for the, I'll do that. the tomato juice. It's all get mixed up together. It is, it is. Okay, so a cup and a half of vodka. And how long do you want to chill this for? I like to chill it for a minimum of four hours just to mm -hmm. get it really good and cool. Yeah. Okay. And then that way it's all ready to go when you get there. And then you don't need as much ice. Right. All right, so we'll stir that up. Okay. And then we'll be ready to taste. Awesome. That came together really quickly. It is a fun, fun drink. Yes. And Definitely. because of the barbecue sauce, it gives it a little bit of extra pizzazz. I can't wait to try it. All right. So we'll pour you some in, and then, of course, we garnish with the celery. Okay. Love it. Love it. Okay. And then you're all ready to go. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, I love that. Isn't that fun? Yes. With the barbecue mm -hmm. sauce, it gives it just enough yeah. of that extra flavor. Yeah. I can't believe how easy this was to make. I know I will definitely be recreating this one on my own. I'm Mary Stackhouse with more restaurants and recipes coverage you can count on. The preceding portion of Wake Up Alabama was sponsored by Dreamland Barbecue.